So look at okay. this. Right. So look at this. Here we have some exercises. Uh, please, let's check the use of the frequency adverb. For example, here we have Jim never is at work, letter A. Letter B, Jim is at work never. Letter C, never is Jim at work. Letter D, Jim is never at work. So please do me a favor. Use the tool Anotar so that you can stamp or draw in the correct uh, answer, okay? Everybody, let's do. Okay, anybody else? Okay, pretty good. Hey, there are many people who says that this is the correct. Very good, anybody else? All right. Okay, look at this. The correct answer is D. Jim is never at work. Pretty good. Okay, so let's go to number two. Letter A, we have usually lunch at 12 o'clock. B, we usually have lunch at 12 o'clock. C, we have lunch at usually 12 o'clock. Or D, we have lunch at 12 usually o'clock. What is the correct? Okay, some people says A, some people says B. Okay, we have in, in A or B. Okay, pretty good. Excellent. All right. So look at this. The correct answer is B. We usually have lunch at 12 o'clock. Remember that in this case, whenever we are using action verbs, the frequency adverb goes before. Okay? All right. Let's go with number three. Letter A, she travels always by train. I'm, I'm sorry, Margarita. Uh, where is the, the, the tool? Uh, uh, you are going to find um, a letter that says, Estás compartiendo la pantalla de Maggie Argot. And then you are going to find opciones. In opciones, uh -huh. you click and you will find another. Oh, okay. Thank All you. Right. My pleasure. All right. Number three. A, B, C, or mm. what do you think? Okay. They say she always travels by train. The majority of you says C. All right, let's check. And the correct is C. Very good, excellent. All right, so what about four? Okay, pretty good. Hey. Wow, good. <clears throat> Excellent. Yes, the correct answer is B. They sometimes go out in the evening. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right. So now let's do another uh, activity. We are going to see some a exponents of vocabulary and we are going to make a practice all right okay let me let me clean the screen i remember when i used to to wear to use my eraser long time ago now eraser is not in my school things all right so look at this the question, how often do you ride a bicycle, for example? No, that's my question. Uh, how often do you ride a bicycle? Okay, here it is. How often do you ride a I use it every day. 
Hey, that's great. Very good. Anybody else? I use it sometimes. I, I, uh, you could say I sometimes use it. All right, anybody else? I never ride a bike. Aha, uh -huh, that's very good. I never ride a... Hey, why? Don't you like bikes? Yes, but I don't have time because I work and after that I have to study. <laughs> oh, that's it. Hey, what a pity to ride a bike is wonderful. Yes, you're right. But maybe so... Uh, Maybe someday I, I, I could uh, I could get the time, I hope. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, thank you. Okay, anybody else? Come on, uh, I usually ride a bicycle on weekends. Hey, that's great. Thank you, Hector. Anybody else? I never ride a bicycle because actually I don't, I don't have one. Oh, that's a pity. Riding a bicycle is so nice. Okay, Marco, thank you. Anybody else? I ride a bike. Uh, be you, Eduardo? I rarely. Ah, I rarely ride a bike. Mm, yeah, that's the problem. Many people don't have time for riding a bike, but it's beautiful. All right. Thank you very much. Anybody else? I never ride a bike because I, I do another kind of exercise. Mm, that's it. All right. Pretty good. Anybody else? I, I ride my bike every weekend. Excellent. That's pretty good. Vanessa, thank you very much. All right. So anybody else, Edgar? What about you, Juan de Dios? What about you? Well, teacher, uh, I say that I, I have to work and after that I have to do my homework. This is oh, the reason that I, 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 I can, uh, I never ride a bike, but oh, yeah. I, I hope someday could the time. Yeah, I'm Get the sorry. time, sorry, get the time. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sorry, I forget that you had already spoken. Thank you, Juan de Dios. All yeah. right. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Ricardo, what about you, Edgar? All right, look at this. Um, here I have another question. Let's suppose that I am the doctor, all right? And you come to my office and you say, uh, well, Alma says I never ride a bike. Hey, that's it, Alma. That's a pity, but it's grammatically correct. Okay, so look at this. Let's suppose that we are uh, the doctor. No, I am the doctor, and I am going to do some questions for you so that you can describe your habits. So please answer the questions by the chat so that we can check a uh, grammar and spelling. So the questions are, how often, um, how often do you eat fruits and vegetables how often do you drink plain water okay so what else how often do you sleep late Okay. How often do you work over time? Okay. How often do you listen to music? Oh my, I'm sorry, capitalization. Uh, but well, that's the question. How often do you listen to music? All right. So please help me, let's make a paragraph with all of those uh, answers. Okay, Francisco Javier wrote, I eat fruits and vegetables sometimes because I often forget I already bought some. Oh my, 
<laughs> All right. So you know what? It's I sometimes eat fruits and vegetables. Remember that the frequency adverb goes before the verb. It's sometimes eat uh, fruits and vegetable vegetables. Uh -huh. All right. Anybody else? Come on, kids. Don't be shy. Sorry, teacher. What does plain mean? Plain it eats water with no sugar, no flavor, natural. Okay. Water. I got it, teacher. Thank you. My pleasure. Jose Luis, I always eat vegetables and, and fruits, I guess. All right. Very good. Stephanie, I eat fruits and vegetables every day. I drink plain water many times a day. Uh, no, I eat fruits and vegetables and plain water every day. Good, Stephanie. Marco, I eat fruits and vegetables every day. I drink plain water many times a day. Very good, Marco. Ricardo, I eat fruits and vegetables every day. Good. That's it, Jose Luis. Stephanie, drink. Uh, Jose Luis, I'm sorry, fruits. Mm, Jose Luis, maybe you wanted to say, I'm sorry. I don't like fruit. Is it correct, Jose Luis? So, Ricardo. No, it, it's because I, I wrote uh, vegetables and vegetables and I the fruits. Uh, okay, I don't eat or, or I don't like it. Okay. I drink plain water every day also, okay. Eduardo, I sometimes eat vegetables and fruits. Excellent. And Jose Luis, I drink plain water every day. Good. Uh, Francisco, I always drink plain water. I always sleep late. I sometimes work overtime. I listen to music every day. Hey, good. Stephanie, I never sleep late unless I have a party. Good. Eduardo, I always drink plain water. Excellent. Vanessa, I eat fruit and vegetables every day. Excellent. Juan de Dios, I always eat fruits and vegetables. Also, I always drink water. Hey, great. Alma, I sometimes eat vegetables and I always drink water. I always sleep late. Oh, oh my. Alma, don't forget that uh, the pronoun I should be with capital letter all of the time. I, capital, sometimes I always capital I, all right? Hector, uh, you say I always eat fruits and vegetables because I am diabetic. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so so Marco, I always sleep late because of my job and I usually listen to music. Good. Ricardo, I work overtime three times a week. Okay, good. Eduardo, I rarely sleep early. Good. Hey, well, sometimes it's because of work. Okay, Juan de Dios, I always try to sleep early, but I can't. Eh, ah, good. Juan de Dios, we are not going to be able to use never in the negative way. So the correct is, I can't ever, or I am never able. Yeah, I can't never is not correct. I'm okay, going to thank you. My pleasure. The correct is I can't ever or I am never able. Okay. I always listen to music because I feel happy with it. Hector, good. 
I often sleep late and I always listen music. Jose Luis, very good. I listen music every weekend when I clean. Hey, good, Vanessa. I sometimes work overtime. Good, Jose Luis. Hey, wonderful. You are very good. Okay, so look at this. Now we are going to make a talk. We are going to be talking, everybody together. So, uh, Marco, please do me a favor. Make a question to one of your classmates. Whoever you may like, choose a victim. Um, uh, Ricardo. All right, thank you. What's the question? Um, how often do you go to the movies? Thank you, Ricardo. Hello. Hi. Uh, I try to go to the movies like... Uh, Mm. One time at a month. Once a month, great. Once a month, yes. Hey, great. Thank you. Ricardo, who's your victim and what's the question? Uh, Alba, uh, how often do you play basketball? Thank you. Play basketball. Never. I never play basketball. Uh, I never play basketball. Oh my. All right. Thank you, Alma. Okay, Alma. All right. Thank you. Alma, who's your victim and what's the question? Um, Marco? Right, thank you. What's the question, Alma? Um, is, um, no, the, how often? Mm, Alma, I'm sorry, we couldn't listen to you. Why don't you write the question in the chat? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you, Alma. It, is it for Marco, you said? Yes, I drink soda once in a week. Hey, good. Thank you, Marco. Please, Marco, who's yes. and what's the question? Um, let me see. Uh, Jose Luis Sandoval. Hi, thank you. Uh, how often do you... Um, how often... Do you play soccer? I never play soccer. I, I don't like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Jose Luis, who's your victim and what's the question? Mm, let me see. Uh, Juan de Dios Marquez. All right. Yes, of course. Okay, how often do you exercise? I never <laughs> do I exercise. <laughs> All right, thank you. Juan de Dios, please tell me who is your victim and what's the question? Yes, teacher, let me check. I don't know, maybe Stephanie Rodriguez. All right, thank you. What's the question? How often do you take a rest at the job? Oh, I never take a rest in the job. Hi. All right. Thank you, Stephanie. All right, Stephanie, you. who's your victim and what's the question? 
Uh, maybe Edgar. Edgar Huerta. All right. And how often do you have, uh, do you travel for a holiday? Good, thank you. Oh, I, I often travel by a holiday every year. Uh, I don't work in in the holidays. Yeah, for this reason, it's more easy for me traveling. That that uh, I don't know how to say date. Mm -hmm. In a day off, it's easier to travel in a day off. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Edgar. All right, Edgar, please tell me who's your victim and what's the question. Hmm. I don't know, maybe Hector? All right, uh, thank you. Hector, how do you often um, feel happy? Hey, that was nice. How often do you feel happy? How often do you feel happy? Sorry. It's okay. Hector, hello. Don't be shy. Don't go. Don't sleep. You know what, Edgar? Maybe Hector is having problems with his microphone. Mm, why don't we ask to anybody else? Okay. Mm. Betty? Betty, okay. ¿cómo está? Thank you. Betty, hello. Okay, ahí les va. Este es para eh, corrector. All right, Betty, can you listen to us? Betty, oh my, Betty has escaped. Uh, all right, Hector, yes, please, we listen to you. Yes, uh, I always am happy because I am optimist. Hey, that's great. You say, I am always happy. I'm I am always happy. Ah, okay. I, I am I'm always happy. I am always happy because I am optimist. An optimistic person, eh? That's optimistic. Cool. Okay, okay. All right. I am. Uh -huh. Hey, thank you very much. Hector, what's your question and who's your victim? Uh, Vanessa. All right, thank you. How often do you read a book? I read a book every month. Okay, pretty good. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay, Vanessa, please. Uh, what's, what's the question and who's your victim? Uh, my victim is Eduardo Cortez. All right, good. My question is, how often do you go to the dentist? Oi, oi. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid of going to the dentist. Pero yo no quiero ahorita, esta no es mi... Eduardo, hello. I go to the dentist every six months. Hey, that's great. Pretty good. All right, thank you. Eduardo, who's your victim? Um, um, Ricardo? All right, thank you. Uh, how often do you go to the cinema? Hey, good. Uh, I, I, I go to the cinema once a week. Okay. 
All right, thank you very much. All right, look at this. Now we are going to talk about something different. Mm, we all know that habits are very important for our health. And our health, of course, is our future. If we are healthy people, our future is going to be more comfortable. And you mentioned many things about food, about exercise, and about uh, even fun, have fun. Because it is very important to be relaxed, to have fun, to eat well, to drink water, to do exercise. But what do you think about the spiritual uh, way? I don't, I, I am not talking about religion. I am talking about uh, to be happy with yourselves, to love the ones that are around you, and many other points. Uh, what do you think, Hector, that spirituality is, or how do you uh, practice that spirituality? Mm, in my opinion, uh, spiritual life is important for the balance. Uh, you uh, and you can get uh, uh, you can get peace with yourself uh, practicing, for example, uh, a massage or a, a meditation. I I don't know. I I try to practice these habits, these spiritual habits. Hey, that's great. Thank you very much, Hector. Please, Hector, who's next? Uh, Alma. All right, thank you. Okay, Alma, what do you think about spirituality? In my opinion, um, I don't know quality. Um, what is spirituality? Mm, well, when I talk about spirituality, eh, I mentioned that I'm not talking about religion. Eh, for me, it could be something like, 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 like Hector said, to be relaxed with yourself. It could also be eh, to love, to deeply love anybody to feel love for your family, for your couple, for your, uh, for society, I don't know. Uh, so uh, the question is for you, what is spirituality? Um, uh, I love me, I love uh, my, brothers hey that's great okay alma thank you very much so please who's next edgar edgar huerta all right thank yes. you okay well for me, the spiritual life is, is important because if you are, if you, if I feel fine with myself, uh, I love myself and then I can love to each other or the rest of the world. And that is important for me. Uh, it's, it's, if, if you are good, you will be ready to, to give love to others. Hey, that's it. Thank you very much, Edgar. All right, tell us who's next. Mm -hmm. Stephanie Rodriguez. All right, thank you. Well, for me, it's very important because um, if I feel happy and good by myself, I will make happy to my family and the people that I share with. 
So I'm trying to make exercise as well because it's well, part of my of my life, my my body, and that's it. All right, thank you very much, Stephanie. All right, Stephanie, please tell us who's next. Is Juan de Dios. Thank you. Yes, uh, from my point of view, the spiritual life is the the best for the body, and we should we should share the good feelings to people because this is I think that this is the way to to share uh, the best life to the all the people. This hey. is my particular particular opinion. I don't know, maybe like that, something like that. That's it. Thank you very much. All right. So please tell me who's next. Let me check, teacher. Maybe. Let Go me ahead. check. Maybe. Francisco Javier. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Um, in my opinion, to be uh, a spiritual person is um, to be one with all the all things that surround us. It's like to be one with all the things and to share that energy, the energy that link us together as persons, as um, living beings. Hey, that's pretty wise. Thank you very much. That was so interesting also. Thank you very much. So please, Tell us, who's next? How about Vanessa? All right, thank you. Hello. Um, for me, the spirituality is and uh, find something that make you, makes you happy and that uh, you can share with other persons. Hey, that's great. Thank you very much, Vanessa. All right, so who's next? Uh, hello, who's next? Um, I think that everybody has spoken, or is anybody? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Francisco Javier has already spoken, but I don't know if somebody if somebody wants to say anything voluntarily. Yes, I think uh, spirituality uh, refers to the self-esteem, the way you love yourself, and you are going to love everyone. Hey, that's, I, I, I haven't heard, I, well, I'm sorry, I haven't thought about it, but yes, you're right. It uh, is about also self-esteem. All right, thank you very much. Okay, do you know what? I would like to talk to you about this activity. It has also been a hobby, a hobby. Uh, um, a uh, spare time activity and it's called a uh, genealogy. Have you heard about genealogy as a hobby? No, I don't. No, I don't. No. no. I don't, teacher. Well, it is very interesting. Genealogy is an activity that we could do for uh, finding what is the origin of our family. In my case, I found out that my family came from Lebanon and that uh, my last name was very common there, but uh, I found also many other different people with my last name over the world. For example, I found one in Thailand, I found another person in Spain. And so it was very interesting to talk to them 
by Facebook even. I found by Facebook and I, I asked them where they came from, what they do uh, and things like those. It was very interesting. I found a cousin of mine, a very, very far further cousin of mine in France. So my question is this, haven't you found any family, uh, any relative by Facebook or by LinkedIn or by any social net? No, I don't. No? Never, ever. No, haven't you tried? No. Well, not, not um, directly for me, but for my mom. I found one aunt. Yes, it was an aunt. Um, she was living in the United States, but it's just, it was like, um, I don't know how to say, coincidence? Yes, coincidence. Because uh -huh. I was looking something different and I found her. And and it was because of the of her surname and well it was announced of her. A very, very far down. My goodness, that was so interesting. Thank you very yeah. much for sharing. Thank you. Okay, anybody else who could have any experience like that? No, teacher, I have never found some, somebody. Mm, that's it. Uh, anybody else who would like to say anything? You know what? I, I remember that time ago, a friend of mine told me that she had a sister who suddenly disappeared. Nobody knew where she was. Uh, they thought that she had been kidnapped uh, and they were looking for her for many years for long really long time and suddenly uh, my friend found her by Facebook it was like a coincidence and the the thing was the, the situation was that she escaped from home because she, she was, she disagreed. She disagreed with her mother about permissions for going party and things like those. And she went to the United States. But she was 13 years old. My goodness. Uh, uh, so she was a little baby. And so, yes, she was found by Facebook. 30, yeah, no, 40 years later. 40 years? Wow. 40 years. They thought that she had uh, passed away. Teacher, and how was her life? Do you know something? Oh, yes. Uh, she got married, but she suffered so much, so she didn't uh, want her mother to know about it because she thought that her mother going to responsabilize her about her action and so she uh, she preferred a way so oh my hard to believe it's hard to believe yes that's that that was heavy yeah too much it must be so sad for the family uh -huh. it, I think it was a very bad uh, decision. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think that it is very interesting. I have spent a very nice time. But unfortunately, time is over. So Can I say something uh, about yes, uh, the family? Yes, please. Yeah. In my family, we have a family tree. So I can... Uh, uh, Ibarrolas, Ibarrola hair. I, I am Ibarrola hair. Entonces, uh, so uh, that's interesting. Uh, it's about uh, the, the the family uh, starts. Uh, start about uh, 
1480, something like that. And it's a huge family tree. My goodness, hey, that's very interesting. <laughs> yes, I know. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so uh, meet you next class. Have a very good night. And I hope you have a very nice week. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye.